god look at all the happy comments in my comments thank you everyone for popping in here sorry i'm a few minutes late I can't blame technology today. It was just my poor planning. I thought I had a few more minutes than I did, and I did not. And I had to transfer one thing from here on my phone to my computer. So then I'm giving you guys the right information. So hello, everyone. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the central coast of New South Wales, which is halfway between Sydney and Newcastle. So today I am recreating a card I've already made. Hello, Delinda, Corinne, Dawn. Who else? Other? Oh, no, only one Corinne. We've got Shirley. We've got Monica. And there was someone else who popped in. Hello, Miss Bonnie. So thank you all for um, joining. Hello, Miss Bev. I'm recreating my team swap that um, I had my team meeting on the weekend and we were using products from the new catalogue. And... I, and it was, no, it was a fun fold. Sorry. This month is products from the new catalogue. Um, it's okay. I use products from the new catalogue and we were making a fun fold card. And my friend in Canberra, Bev Evans, was making these fun fold cards earlier in May. And it's an envelope. Hello, Donna. Hello, Dawn. Um, she was making an envelope fold card. I'm pretty sure that is what she called it. I've transferred the photo, but I just haven't opened it yet. Da, 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 da. Scroll up today. <gasps> Where did the photo go? <gasps> the photo didn't transfer. Boo, hiss. Damn. And it's on my phone. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Okay. I now need to count to 10 because my measurements are quite going to be where I need them to be. Hello, Miss Sheila. How are you? So this is what the envelope from Fold looks like. I have used the uh, Cheerful Daisies. Yeah, uh oh, indeed, Bev. And the fun fold is right there. I have nothing on the inside. But that is our thumb fold. So whether I make this card today or I make a different version, I am not sure. Thank you, Bev. I am not quite sure um, which version I will do today. But I just want to show you the fold because it's so super duper easy. And um, I am not one for complicated folds. That Not my jam. Not my jam. Hey, Jody. Um... Yeah, complicated. I like fun folds, but I like fun folds that look more complicated than what they are. Well, it's, oh no, it's in Messenger. It's okay, I can find it. It's in Messenger because we were in a conversation and I said, can you flick that to me? That's okay. I didn't even need to do that. I just need to find our conversation and scroll back because it was from much earlier in the month and Bev and I have had a number of conversations since then and the good thing for all my imperial friends is that I have both A4 measurements and eight and a half by 11 measurements. Hey David and Shirley how are you? It was a close call I fixed it all by myself. <laughs> I feel like my kids sometimes, you know, when they're little, they go, I fixed it all by myself. I feel like that sometimes as well. It's very satisfying when you get the bing and it's there. Okay, so is everyone enjoying the new catalogue? Now that you know what we're doing today, we'll just have a quick catch up and then we'll get started. Has Is everyone enjoying the brand new catalogue? So if you don't know what we're what I'm talking about, our new catalogue launched two days ago. So two days ago, Australian time. This is our brand new annual catalogue. 
I have my new products somewhere in between the warehouse and my house. So they have shipped. I did receive something that got shipped yesterday morning from Stampin' Up. I received today, but it just had some pearls, some cardstock, and a pack of Stampin' Blends. So there was no unboxing required for that. I needed fresh freezer paper, iridescent pearls, and old olive blends. So, yeah. Oh! <gasps> Good, Bev. I hope it doesn't take too long because I know many of you are quite jealous um, of the Australian shipping times because something that was shipped yesterday from Stampin' Up! I received today. Um, and I had two boxes um, sent yesterday afternoon. So I'm either getting them tomorrow, which is ideal, or I'll be getting them Monday, which is also probably not realistic but it's probable but I won't be here Monday I'll be at work um so I don't know when the unboxing will happen the unboxing might happen as part of our normal Tuesday live because Monday night I'm also at karate Mondays are crazy in my house well I'm not doing karate that would just be laughable oh it's been on your wish list not yet exactly, Shirley. Now it's time for the rest. I want all the embellishments. Well, not all the embellishments, but I want the embellishments. I've ordered the paper because I'm running a paper share. So if anyone is in Australia, I posted two days ago. Um, that was my nighttime post on the day that I did the catalogue walkthrough. So on Tuesday, I did a catalogue walkthrough over here on YouTube. Um, so if you want to hear my opinions on the catalogue, I did miss a page um, and we went back to it at the end, but I also missed, missed talking about the hostess stamp sets. So I realised that after we'd finished, but I know you girls have a look at the hostess sets. There is a moth slash butterfly set that I don't know quite how I feel about it. Um, so yes, paper share. Papers are on their way to me. I still have space. So if you want to take advantage of that and you are in Australia, I do have the information on my blog. I do need to pin it to featured. Um, and I will um, I'll be cutting that up. So just transfer me the money and I can you can either pick it up from me if you're local or I can ship it to you. Okay, the other thing that has happened is my Dainty Delight class. So this is one of the cards from my Dainty Delight class and it is available um, to email out to you guys. And I think I only have one of that one because I haven't embellished this one, but still pretty without the embellishments. Um, I gave this as a wedding card. So the best is yet to come. A friend of mine had a surprise wedding on the weekend. So I'm friends with both of them um, and I sent them a card. So that's okay, Lisa. This is card number three. There are actually five cards in my class. This is card number four. So if you want each video to make these cards, is over half an hour. Um, so you get in this one. So they're the five cards that you can see um, in video tutorials. And I also do a project sheet with measurements and supplies so that is the accompaniment to the tutorial in the video so the video is the tutorial and the accompaniment is the project sheet with dimensions and um where to find things in the catalogue now in this class i have referenced the new catalogue um just to make it easier and i Think, I don't think I used anything retired. I don't think I used anything retired in those cards or on purpose, on purpose. So, yes. Now, I have cleared my desk doing that. I had things so I didn't forget to talk to you about 
all the things. So I think we can get on with making our card. So I will show you the products and we can have a bit of a vote about what paper we're going to use because I've bought a second pack of this paper because I love it a lot. I love it a lot. Are you guys loving the Cheerful Daisies? So that's this stamp set. And I've also got the dies and the paper that I'll show you once I flick around. And just in case you think my house is extra quiet today, you're right. I am home super alone. David and Louisa have been in Sydney this morning for work. Um, Louisa actually went and did some work. Um, and I have been left to my own devices. It's a shame I did have a doctor's appointment this morning, but it's such a beautiful day today. It was actually really lovely to be out, but I did need a jacket. Okay, I think that's good. I will be, turn off the light and I'll check how it is. Okay, and I have worked out my replay is not live. So press the live button at the bottom of the stream. I think we're all good, except for my dirty mat. But, you know, we'll all live with my dirty mat. It shows that I actually craft and drop ink pads when I craft. Haven't dropped an ink pad on a project for a while. Hey, Shari, how are you? Oh, you've had it on your wish list. Yes. Okay, so Cheerful Daisies. This is a photo polymer stamp set. So it makes lining up the outline and the middle so much easier. Because I think I ended up making nine of these cards. Maybe I made the first one, then I made eight more. So I had, a, I think, two for my stash, and I think we needed seven to swap with the team. Now, these are the matching dies. I still haven't done my die organisation. I have plans this weekend to enlist Lavender's help because she was complaining she was bored last weekend. So I really need her help in organization org mm, organizing and changing everything over this catalog um yeah time's just got away from me at the moment but i did get i was kind of off air um yesterday and i did get a whole lot of my tax done because it's almost overdue and my accountant went ah knock knock we need to do this so i sat down and diligently did some adulting work so this is the designer series paper it is called fresh as a daisy so these are both called cheerful daisies and this is called fresh as a daisy so we have our cut apart sheet you do get two sheets of everything and this is a cut apart sheet that is great for using as card fronts in scrapbooking, card making, amazing. I will definitely be cutting apart one of these. And then you have your Moody Mauve on the back. Okay, now this piece, this is all I have left because I made customer cards using this. So Moody Mauve with Wild Wheat on the back. And I don't think I must have used all of my that sheet this sheet i thought it was really really happy with the crush curry and the lemon lolly there we go so we have it there so we can use the same paper or tell me if you'd like me to use another paper for our card this is the one i cased using um pretty peacock and azure afternoon and then we have two-toned on the back this one is a scene i'll show you so this one is a scene so great for a scrapbook or even to frame on the wall then we have copper clay on the back 
I love that all these colour names are getting cemented in my brain. This one is similar to the one I used for my card, but it's a bit different. It's got a pebbled puff background, but I pretty much make it the same colours as what I did that one. Then we have boho blue on the back, and that is all of our designs. So let me think so do i keep it similar or do i go different hey cindy hey shaz oh good oh yes um shirley i can show you one of my other ones that i use i use and whoever said i use art bin to linda you've been watching me way too long and have heard me say it a thousand times so i use art bin sheets i did used to use the art bin bin to keep them in but they weren't in plastic and it was very because i had so many dies at the time i won't have as many dies this catalog um, so far, touch wood, touch everything. Um, oh, different is good, Bev. Okay, we will choose something different then. Um, and But I, I love the magnetic sheets and I still use them. And me and my friend Jamie used uh, page protectors and a fuse tool to make these pockets. So if the dies ever fall out, they're always in the pocket with the actual die set so yes okay so we're going to do different that's fine i wanted to use lemon lolly again and you girls are saying different okay right so this one's two same same so we're not going to go with that so i think that only leaves us with this one we could use this one but this one's kind of calling my name and we can use the copper clay. So we can use this one, which I like. I love the copper clay on the back. Okay, this paper is just, I'm not going to fight with it and put it back. Because I also need to put my paper in their normal pockets as well. So to start, I'm going to cut this designer series paper and we need for the a4 paper we need a 10 centimeter square piece of designer series paper for us measurements you need three and three quarters square okay so let's start with that and then I will go on with the rest. It kind of feels like I've got two pieces here, but it's just a perfect weight of designer series paper. So, 10. Pop that over there. So, if you did this card, it's actually quite economical so you actually get nine squares out of a piece of designer series paper which is pretty awesome so nine cards out of one sheet that's that's fantastic so now what i want to do you can either hand fold this in in half down the diagonal but i find that really really hard so i am going to line this up and just be a bit intentional here do, 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 do. i hope i'm coming through clear for everyone because my replay is a bit choppy it's not a clear picture like normal just let me check what wi-fi i'm on for myself I'm on the good Wi-Fi and no one's home, so I don't know. Okay, uh, Lisa Atley, there is a link in the description box on this video and it says Dainty Delight Class and you pay for the class through PayPal. 
um, or because you're in Australia, I can give you my bank details and then I email you through the class. So that now has the score. So we can now fold that in half and we can choose which side we want to use. I think I like. Oh. But then that's not going to be, it's going to be an upside down daisy. Oh, I don't know. Although it still looks fabulous doing that now. We have to choose what colour daisy. So I didn't colour the inside of my daisy, but I might do that for this one. So I just used a coloured outline. And I'm thinking if I use a copper clay base and then a pretty peacock card. That's what I'm thinking. So I want to go and cut all my pieces at the moment. I think this is copper clay. Copper clay. That is it. And I will need... This is where I have to think because we're not using a full card front. So this card... I'll open it. This card isn't a full card front. If I open it, that will be better. Okay, let me go to my instructions. Uh, three and three quarters, Jody, for Imperial. No, so for a US card, it's three and three quarters. For an Australian size card or UK Europe size card, it's 10 centimeters square. So it, yeah, it depends on if you're using letter card stock or not that's fine so <laughs> i'm using my smarts here for the australian card base we're just doing because this is going to be the card base yes we are doing 10 centimeter 10.5 so it's just going to be the normal size of our card front but it's just going to be a singular piece because our smaller piece is the opening for the card. And so we're just going to go half a centimetre smaller or a quarter of an inch if you are in using letter cardstock. Okay, so I have my base. Pretty Peacock is in the regals so i need to stand up reach all the way down here whoops i was grabbing my blueberry bushel at the same time now if we don't like the pretty peacock with the paper i can definitely go with our azure afternoon so we're just going to see because Whatever we do, it will work. Okay. Oh, dear word. Everyone saw that. Where's Cheryl? So I can have my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens. Okay. So this piece, I'm just, yes, that's the way I want it. So this piece, I am going to have it at 20 centimeters so this doesn't happen very often i have to actually open my trimmer and i love that we can open the trimmer so 20 centimeters and you're basically cutting off a centimeter off each side so 20 centimetres by, and do you know what? I just cut this piece wrong. I realise what I just did, but I can fix it with the other piece. Uh, okay, so I am going to score this at 10 centimetres. Okay. 
and then I am going to 14.85 and I'll give you imperial measurements in a second. I'm just going to do two of these so then I know they are the same size and I'm taking a centimetre off. Right, that is correct. I had to stop and deliberately think here. Now, this piece I will need to cut at the proper size. That's fine. So, what technically should happen is that we have a smaller card card that is going to go on the card base and we have trim all the way around hooray we got that far great so this card in american measurements it is going to be eight by five and a quarter and you score at four that sounds right where this is 14.3 by 20. So we cut at 14.3 and we did the 20 and then scored in the middle. But I will type all these out um, when I pop up my blog post. Hey, Bon, you're back. Oh, that, thank you. No problems, Jodie. Yes, I know you are, yep, because you guys get the letter card stock. So, yeah, I, um, my dear friend Bev did give me her handwritten instructions for both and I um, did tell her she was going to get a shout out today because I know at the stage she was making them, I wasn't in the headspace to make one up. So I did ask her for this and then I said, I'm going to be making one of the cards tomorrow and using your measurements. She went, yeah, that's fine. So the lovely Bev Evans. Okay, so oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? So that is how it's going to sit. Now, I do just, I'm actually almost thinking that we use the same colour, um, the same colour flower may actually look okay. A bit of a different colour in the centre, but we've got our crushed curry. Or, let me look at the dies. Let me see, let me see. So I kind of want it to be different. So any ideas, I could use like a die cut flower rather than a stamped flower. Yeah, but we actually have to make a closure. That's what I need to do because, Delinda, if I left that, the flower is the actual closure. But what I could do is put one of the sentiments on a circle and have that a circle as the closure with the sentiment, which I think I do prefer because that flower is almost the prominent flower where this card, I had little flowers in the designer series paper. So let's have a look at sentiments um okay tell me which sentiment to use and then i will work out the circle punches but, but that was a very good point um delinda and i do agree And this actually will take no time at all to put together it's actually as i said very easy it's just, so I don't think we'll be using the dies today, ladies. We'll just be using the stamp set and the designer series paper, which is totally fine. <gasps> Hello, Cheryl, you've missed about two 
counting to 10 moments, but I counted to 10 by myself. And that is okay. You are forgiven for being late. But I needed you to count to 10 with. And I do know that die is on the floor. So what sentiment will I be using? Type, friendship, sorry, birthday or day. And I really need to pick up this die. So I'm going to grab my grab tool that has it's magnetised on the end. So whenever I drop a die, I can just um, use it and pick it up. I actually use it to pick up many things off the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, Miss Candy. How are you? Okay, no one's told me what sentiment. So, your friendship means everything. And will that fit in the one and three quarter? Oh, I, I'm pretty set for birthday cards at the moment, actually. Your friendship means everything. Now, that fits pretty perfectly in there I actually quite like that and then I've just got to decide what color I am cardstock of course I would like I think I might actually I'm going to try lemon lolly first and that is right here I'm just going to test the colour. I think it's going to be a little too bright, but let's try it anyway. Because I think this card is definitely um, darker in colour. Yeah, oh, whilst the lemon lolly works, I just think Crush Curry is going to be perfection. I do have a good size scrap too. So see the difference? Whilst Lemon Lolly looks great, when you put in that crushed curry, it just matches the depth of saturation of the other colours. Oh, you're moving on the 11th. That Oh, you're in the house, but we do have the house. Oh, that's so exciting that you can already be there, but there's no super rush. I did drop a die, Cindy. Thank you for telling me. So, yeah, hopefully you can see what I am talking about. What's going on with this? Okay, so do I stamp in I'm actually thinking of stamping in wild wheat it's only cardstock so if I don't like it that there's wild wheat around the bottom of the middle of the flower the name of the middle of the flower is totally escaping my brain lavender is artsy that is right uh lavender is artsy so is owen owen is artsy as well i have two artsy kids um they both are doing like art for their final two or they <laughs> lavender did art for her final two years of school and owen is doing art and photography so yes Oh, wow. That came out a lot different than what I thought, but I really like it. It just gives that hint. Oh, I like. I like it when things turn out a little bit different because we're stamping a brown yellow onto a yellow cardstock. It just hits a little differently. Hmm. 
are your daughters crafty, Bev? See, my mum knits. Um, my mum doesn't crochet, actually. Lavender and my stepdaughter, Thea, have, um, who's Ivy's mum, um, they... They have started crocheting together, so they want to learn to crochet together. But they haven't got together recently, so yeah. Mm. Right. So that is that. I'm thinking I want to edge that, actually. Let me pop my cardstock here. I rather than because with the whole circle situation, my next circle is two inch, which I actually think may be a little too big. So the two inch uh, punch actually came back with the new catalog. Oh, I'm so glad you're getting excited for the new home. Now, actually, two inch. Two inch will be perfect. Sorry, because I forgot that was two and three quarters. So what colour might I like to mat that with? And actually, the lemon lolly may not look half bad as a little mat to provide... That lightness, that punch hasn't been used in a while. I tell you that is much harder than what it actually should have been. Or, so I could do that. So just pop that there because at the moment we just have pieces. Or I will grab our wild wheat and see how that one looks. Because only paper. Making lots of creative decisions today. Ah, there we go. I was a bit more definitive in my um, pushing on the punch. Vellum. No, Cheryl. No scallop dice. Or no scallop circles, anyway. Oh, actually, you really lose it when you put it on that. Yes, I could use vellum. Wheat is versatile, but I don't think it does anything on that. But when I bring over the lemon, it really brings that lightness. So I think lemon lolly is going to win and I'm going to glue. No to the wheat. Exactly, Delinda. I thought, oh, candy. That's so exciting. New furniture. I got so excited when I was allowed built-in furniture in my craft room. Okay, what's going on here? I don't know if this is empty. No, there is a glue goober that I just got. It didn't even look like there was a glue goober, but there was. So... Just gonna pop that on the back of my hand because then I know glue won't go anywhere. And um, the reason I'm really thinking about not using vellum is because we're going to use this as a closure, and the vellum doesn't have as much stability to it as the paper, where the paper will hold up better as a closure. That's, that's it, really. Hey, Brenton, how are you? Okay. Right. I, so on my original card, I used this stamp in the background. And I started out by trying it with Versamark and Versamark and the Lemon Lolly did not work at all. 
I think I'm going to try and stamp this stamp with Versamark just to give, whilst it looks amazing, I'm really happy with the colours, I just want to give a bit of oomph to our card front. So I know Pretty Peacock and Versamark work very, very nicely together. So we're going to give it a go because I just like that pattern. Okay, so let's just pull these bits that didn't work out of the way. And I can't be late for David because his train will be in at 20 past one. But I can't see myself being here that long today. Okay, right. First mark, first mark. Uh, the base, oh, the base is copper clay this is pretty peacock right so the copper clay matches the paper cheryl which is why we chose it so i've chosen all colors directly from the um fresh as a daisy dsp Thanks, Deli oh, thanks, girls. I don't even have to talk. You girls are right on it. Ah, oh, so see, straight away, you can see that watermarking. If I use the Pretty Peacock um, ink, it would be even darker. Now, I try and stamp random. I can't. So, I'm just supposedly trying to random this it will be slightly random slightly in a pattern but you girls will all get the gist of what i'm doing just creating that uh, background piece just a little bit of interest and just one here. Okay, sorry, I have to tilt it to actually see what I'm doing. And I think I need a little bit down here. I think we're all good, except some of my stamping was a bit how you're going. But that's okay. All is good. I've created a bit of a pattern on the background which i think will just elevate that piece so i'll just bring everything back in so our copper clay base our pretty peacock card and then this goes over the top ah oh, yes i do like that pattern but do tell me if you prefer it plain or with the pattern and then we've got this and of course this one didn't need embellishments because i had the big embellishment as the daisy this one i'm going to add embellishments to clay not coat <laughs> no i haven't but i'm not putting three layers on now cheryl they are stuck together and i just need to add dimensionals I, and I'm picking up the yellow that's spotted in there. But no, I didn't try it, but I already had it there. So, yeah, so you can see that. And now I'm going to get gluing. So the first bit I want to glue is I want to glue this to the back of the back of the cart. So I am going to line this up exactly like that and one-handed watch me go one-handed i am going to make sure this is lined up as best as i can and th so this is the back no one is going to see this but we have just done that. So that worked perfectly. Now I can pop this whole 
Yes, I did do it the right way. Woohoo. Just give that a nice bit of pressure. Now we are going to do this one. Right. And give it some wiggle time. Actually, I didn't need much wiggle time. What I am going to do, though, is just pop that under that block and grab my dimensionals. So we're working on edge pieces here. And because I'm using the closure, so I'm using this circle as a closure, I only want dimensionals on this half. So I'm going to have one at the top, one at the bottom. And then this edge is going to be holding the designer series paper in its place. So I want to put them on the right and then the right will end up on the left. Yep, I need to say those things to myself because I can't tell you how many times I got it wrong with these daisies. I think Monica was here when I was making them. Well, not here, but, you know, we were conversing. Oh, you mean three layers, yep. Yeah. But do you know what? I have copper clay embellishments, so I can add copper clay again in the embellishments, and that's exactly actually what I was thinking of doing. Yes, yes, Corinne, that's where Bev saw it from. I haven't seen Karen's video, um, but it's not that hard to work out how it went. Um, so I just winged it and went, oh, my God, this is so easy. I think I put my team cards together in like an hour and a half. Like I made eight and then I had, no, maybe I made... I made nine all together, so yeah. Okay, so now I want to hold this closed and line this up and just a few extra pushes there. And then we have our closure. How easy was that? Besides we had a few design choices that's pretty easy now when i compare these this one has a visually has a lot more going on than this one which is why i'm going to add my copper clay so these are the in color dots so we're going to add copper clay to Think. I don't know if they're all going to go on the sentiment cluster, but definitely some. Um, let's see. No, that's not going to do it. And there's that. Right. I love that these come in three colours. Works very, very nicely for my brain and the fact three um, three sizes rather because I like using a couple of different um, different sizes. So then we've brought the clay back to the top. What do we think? Oh, you can make this look so different. Like between my two cards here, I have, I've, I've used the same products and got two completely different cards. But yes, I could use a, I could have used a white base because we do have the white flowers, but I kind of like how uh, regal it is so that is a close-up look and I will show you the envelope fold I will have to 
actually. I'll do that now. I'll have to add a um, somewhere to write on the inside. But if I do it now, I know it's done. So I already have these and this is going to be the exact size. So I need to take like another half a centimetre off both sides and then this can sit perfectly in the middle ready for us to write on so half a centimeter on the side half a centimeter on the bottom and we should be ready to rock and roll just put those little bits in the rubbish otherwise they end up everywhere Ah, okay. Yeah, then you need a slightly different sized piece of um if you do it that way, you'll need a you'll need a different sized piece of designer series paper. So you'll need it to be the because it's a square, you'll need it to be the height of your card. Where this way, using the 10 centimetres, it actually works out. You get more out of the designer series paper. So you get nine instead of getting six. So it makes a bit of a difference. Thank you, Miss Bonnie. Now, I don't normally uh, put anything on the inside of my cards um if i if we had used the daisy i certainly could stamp the stamped off daisy in the middle but we haven't um so oh i'll see we used that but we didn't use i will grab the wild wheat because while i've got it here i might as well just put one of these in the center Okay, so, and there we go. I have adorned the inside of my cut. This is way too juicy. <laughs> it's really juicy. Hello, Inca. How are you? Oh, that's okay. That's what the replay's for. I'm so glad you... Uh, said hello at least while you were here so that is the card my blog post won't be up until tomorrow night um, but I will give you those measurements so this is my original that I used for my team swaps and this is what we did today so we have used the cheerful daisies stamp set so I used this one for the background and I did that on both and I've used the sentiment. I have used the new or welcomed back one and three quarter uh, circle punch and that is available as part of the online exclusives as is the two inch punch that is also part of the online exclusive um so you can the go to the link on my shop and you can find that there yes donna just two different feels everyone voted to use um differently oh i'm so sorry inca that's sad i don't know what i'd do if we lost um our louisa ah shirley's husband thank you Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I used the in colour dots. So these are the new in colours Pebbled Path, Wild Wheat, Moody Mauve, Copper Clay, and Boho Blue. So, although I am giving all my Boho Blues to my upline a little later when she comes and um, visits. She's doing up some class kits and we'll often go, do you have these I can borrow? I don't have enough. So that die that I picked up is now away. So no one needs to worry, Cindy. Okay, and we used 
the fresh as a fresh as a daisy designer series paper so <laughs> <laughs> oh Shirley I feel for you I feel for you so thank you so much for joining products are available on my online store if you need any help or have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I'm here to help but I will put up both the metric or the A4 and the letter size um, later I will do that in tomorrow night's blog post have a beautiful afternoon and weekend I may be back before our next card making video uh, with an unboxing so you never know um, I will do that I will give you a little bit of warning um, Ah, that's okay, Donna. No problems at all. Um, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of warning of the unboxing, but it'll just depend on when it arrives. So you have a great weekend. I hope the sun is shining for you. It certainly is shining here today, uh, but the the breeze is a little cold, just a little. So have an amazing one. Thank you for joining me and for, as always, all your love and support. And I will see you next time. Bye.